Hello guys, Solitaire Gamer here, and today I will be reviewing Bento. This was one of the most bizarre fighting anime I have ever seen, and that is why I liked it so much. It was so unique, and unlike anything I've ever seen before. In Bento, the main character Sato learns that in order to get a discounted Bento in a supermarket, you have to fight for it against other people who also want to buy discounted Bento. Bento is a Japanese style packed lunch consisting of items like rice, vegetables, and shashami. Yari Zui sees that Sato has no clue about fighting for discounted bentos, so she decides to take him in and teach him about fighting for discounted bentos. I'd never seen a premise like this before. It had me interested right from the start. The fights were so ridiculous and over the top that it made it so entertaining. It wasn't too ridiculous to the point of being cheesy. It wasn't like they developed special abilities during the battles. It was just straight up punching and beating up everyone in your way. I love the use of strategy in the show, as the characters use their surroundings to their advantage, like using a shopping cart or using a shopping basket. What made me really like this anime was seeing how passionate everyone was. It wasn't just a discount bento to them, it was their honor on the line. They fought with everything they had. Some of the characters were even bleeding during fights. This anime was amazing in how innovative it was. It didn't just follow the cliche of a main character being transported to a different world and learning how to use magic, or copy any other anime. It took the risk of having a premise that has never been done before, which was fighting for discounts in a supermarket. It could have totally backfired and have many people talking bad about it and how ridiculous it was, but the creator of the light novel took the risk anyway. I respect the author for that because he could have just made a Harlem Battle light novel, but instead he made an innovative light novel that got made into an amazing anime. Despite there being several girls around Sato, this was not really a Harlem anime, as the girls don't show any romantic interest in Sato. His cousin Shaga may have had a crush on him, but it felt like teasing to me. There was some fan service in this anime, but it was far from being an etchy anime. The focus for this anime was on the fights. Throughout the show, Sato learns about the rules for fighting for discount bento and how much fun it can be. He learns about the respect and honor that takes place during the fights. It was amazing seeing him grow from a character that didn't see the point for fighting for something so small to becoming an amazing fighter who was passionate about getting the best discount bento. It was like watching an underdog grow stronger, like in Naruto. I liked that this anime wasn't about who was physically stronger, but who wanted the bento more. Even a strong person could be taken down by someone who was desperate for food at a cheap rate. I didn't find the girls in this anime to be attractive, but I liked them for their personalities. Yari Zui was dedicated to getting discount bento, and she was a really entertaining character because of that. I never seen a character so dedicated to something before. She didn't care about makeup, clothes, or guys. All she wanted was a cheap bento. And I respect how dedicated she was to that. She made amazing moves during fights. Shaga was more of the comedic relief as she actively tried to seduce Sato or put him in embarrassing situations. She made the show actually funny to watch at times. Oshi Roy was a rather plain girl, but seeing her yaoi fantasies about Sato was pretty hilarious. Shira Ume was one of the worst female characters I'd ever seen in the anime. She kept attacking Sato for no reason, and we the viewers supposed to find that funny? I didn't laugh one time during those scenes. Not only that, but she kept flirting and trying to seduce Oshiroi, even when Oshiroi didn't like it. I'd never seen a more hateable character before. She was a waste of space in this anime. Sato was like every other generic main character. He didn't have anything special to his personality. Despite how common this type of character trait was, I did like his never give up approach in life. Even if he lost multiple times, or knows that a opponent is much stronger than him, he would never give up in getting discount bento regardless. The opening to this anime was amazing in both song and visuals. The ending was good and had a catchy song as well. The music was just fantastic with songs during fights that really fit those intense scenes. The animation style was good for something made in 2011, and the animation during the fights was great. This isn't even a typical shonen battle anime, yet the animation during the fights was amazing. If you're tired of seeing the same old types of shows over and over again and want to see something new for once, then this is the anime for you. It's unlike anything you've ever seen before. The fights in this ridiculous setting are so enjoyable to watch. I give this anime a 8 out of 10. So that's all I want to talk about for today. Thank you for watching this video. Have a great day or night wherever you are. And please like and subscribe if you enjoy the video. And please comment if you found anything interesting in the video.